Hello, it's me, Bruce Lee. Ni chao. Ni han chao. Hello and welcome back. Today we have some very good news. Mom, Dad, wake up. Fresh Kobe news just dropped. The Kobe brand is officially being relaunched on August 24th. The details of it all have still yet to be announced, but uh, this is huge. Hopefully we see some new colorways of the old silhouettes that would be so dope. I'm pretty sure they're kicking things off with the all white Kobe 8 Pro Tros that we've been seeing pop up everywhere. Also, there have been rumors of the Kobe 6 reverse Grinches for the holiday season, looking so clean. But until then, we still gonna be starving out here. Just a little while longer. In the meantime, these are the GK Kobe 5 Bruce Lees. Time to put them through the gauntlet. Per usual, just a friendly reminder, since these are fake sneakers, I would not recommend trying this out at home. This video is strictly for scientific purposes only. All right, let's get into it. Let's start things off at the traction. For the traction on these, we have a solid black outsole with this cardiograph pattern. I never really noticed that, but hey, that's pretty cool. I was expecting a lot from these since they have a solid black traction. Usually these solid colored tractions are dummy good. These didn't have the craziest bite, but they are consistent with the stops. I do feel like the sixes stopped a little harder. The traction pattern isn't super tight. Dust isn't an issue. A few wipes here and there, and you are good to go. Couldn't feel any difference in the small red patch up there either. Just a really consistent traction throughout. These do pass the squeak test. However, to get anything out of them, you're gonna have to be striking the hardwood pretty hard or be playing on a super clean court. If there's dust, you're gonna be like a ninja. Even when I was purposely trying to get them to squeak, I was having a hard time. Surprisingly, outdoors, they have no problems. Moving on to the cushion, very similar to the sixes. Nothing crazy like the setups you're getting in the modern sneakers. More on the court feel side of things, which, uh, which is again, great for guards. The big boy, not so much. These have a zoom turbo unit. Can't really feel the zoom bag in the forefoot unless you're really moving. They do feel extremely stable. The ride feels nice and low to the ground. The foam isn't anything special. Feels like a standard EVA. Not too much impact protection in the back. So if you're looking for a nice bouncy cushion setup, these probably aren't gonna be the ones. They do feel less clunky than the sixes. Not that the Kobe six was a clunky shoe by any means. These just felt more precise with my moves. Heel to toe transition was great. Pretty standard with most Kobe's. These have that carbon fiber shank plate giving extra torsional support as well. Now, next up we have the upper. The Kobe five Bruce Lee's do run a little hot. Not that much ventilation going on here since the entire upper is made up of this plastic fuse material. There's only a few ventilation holes on the toe box and on the medial side of the shoe here. Also, it doesn't help that some of the holes aren't even fully punched out. The trade-off is you feel really locked in. Very sturdy and supportive upper. My foot didn't move around at all. I think that may have also had to do with the fact that I didn't go a half size up. Either way, the lockdown was top tier on these. If you got that shifty slasher build, this is the go-to. And for those worried about the creasing on the upper, they do be creasing. But I mean, that's kind of expected. It's nothing crazy though. Seems like what would happen with any other hoop sneaker. Just your average crease marks. There is that little bit of waviness on the lateral side, but all the creases are in the normal crease spots. All the paint held up nicely, no chipping anywhere. Such a good colorway. These weigh like nothing. It's an extremely light shoe. Got you feeling super quick. Yeah. All right, now moving on to the fit. As I said in the other video, true to size is a very tight fit. At first, it was to the point where it was uncomfortably snug on my foot. Luckily, they did break in over time. It did take a good amount of playing time before my feet could breathe a little again. I would still say half a size up is the way to go. If you want some breathing room, and especially if you're a wide footer. If you really like the one-to-one -one fit, true to size is still doable. Just be warned, it's very snug. Lacing system is standard in a good way. Can't beat it. They tried but it never gets better than this. I usually crank my laces down, but on these, the fit was solid. Wasn't having any heel slippage. Might've been because my foot was being strangled though. Who knows? Just an overall amazing pair of sneakers. One of those ones that are so good, you forget they're even there. They just become part of your foot. Like Wata. Be like Wata, my friend. Yeah, 
That is all for my full breakdown of the Kobe 5 Bruce Lee. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Ba da ba ba ba. Know what I'm saying? Haha. <laughs>